click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the chemical reactions of sulfur and now in this topic we are going to talk about the oxo acids of sulfur. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, in this topic I am going to talk about few oxo acids of sulfur and starting with the first one that is sulfoxylic acid. So in this case the structure is what I am being concerned of. So in this case basically the structure is basically HOSOH. In this case basically the sulfur has an oxidation state of plus 2. So therefore this is the structure of sulfoxylic acid and for that we understand the molecular formula that we could give is H2. SO2. So this is nothing but sulfoxylic acid and now let us move on to the next one. So the next I'm going to talk about is sulfurous acid that is nothing but H2SO3. So this is a structure where we can find that is the sulfur is attached to the oxygen atom having a double bond between the oxygen and sulfur and the rest of the two valency of the sulfur is satisfied by OH. So therefore two OH groups are being attached over here and here is basically the sulfur and this is nothing but the central atom which has an oxidation state of plus 4. So therefore this is the structure of sulfurous acid. Now let's move to the next. The next is sulfuric acid. So the sulfuric acid has a formula that is chemical formula that is we can give it as H2SO4 and talking about the structural formula. So therefore this is the structural formula which is nothing but the sulfur is attached to 2 that is oxygen atoms having double bond over here as you can see and the rest of the two valency it is been satisfied by OH groups and this is the one where sulfur is the central atom and the oxidation state of the central atom that is for sulfur is found to be plus 6. So talking about the next one that is thiosulfurous acid. So this is the structure of thiosulfurous acid. The word thio it represents instead of there is there should be an oxygen here it is basically sulfur and thio it means sulfur. So therefore it is very much resembling to the structure that is what we have discussed earlier that is here basically the two valencies of the sulfur are being satisfied by the OH group and here basically that is sulfur is bonded with the another sulfur having a double bond between this and in this case the sulfur has an oxidation state of plus one. So now let's talk about the next one. The next is thiosulfuric acid. It is very much similar to that of sulfuric acid. The only difference is instead of there should be an O over here or oxygen atom over here there is basically presence of sulfur atom and that is what we can see that is there is one that is sulfur double bond oxygen and there is one sulfur double bond sulfur and the rest of the two valencies it has been satisfied by the hydroxyl group that is OH group and in this case the oxidation state of the sulfur it has been found to be plus two. So now let's go for the next one. The next is diethionous acid. So in this case basically here we can find the similar group that are basically attached to it and that's the reason the name is diethionous acid where we can find that is sulfur is attached to double bond O also with OH and the same group is repeated here also and these two groups are joined together and in this case that is the sulfur has an oxidation state of plus 3. So talking about the next one we have. So talking about the next one that is disulfurous acid. So in this case it is very much similar to that of the previous one that is what we have discussed about. So here basically the sulfur is attached to double bond oxygen over here and here is OH. The same group is here also. The only thing is these two groups are being connected by this oxygen atom. And in this case, the sulfur has an oxidation state of plus 4. The next is diethionic acid. So in this case, this is a structure where we can find there are 4 sulfur double bond oxygen. And this is what we can see over here. That is, there are 4 such groups. That is sulfur double bond oxygen. Here also there is sulfur double bond oxygen, sulfur double bond oxygen and sulfur double bond oxygen over here. And the rest of the two valencies are being satisfied by OH group. So this is what I was talking about. And in this case, the oxidation state of the sulfur is found to be plus 5. The next I'm going to talk about is oleum that is H2S2O7. So in this case this is 2H2, S2 and this is basically O7 and this is a structure where this kind of similar group are been present which are connected via that is oxygen atom and in this case the oxidation state of sulfur it has been found to be plus 6. The next is Peroxy disulfuric acid. So in fact it is very much similar to that of the previous one. The only difference is there was only one oxygen but here there is two oxygen atoms that are been attached to it and this is the thing and here also the oxidation state is nothing but plus 6. So talking about the next one that is peroxo monosulfuric acid. So in fact this is like sulfuric acid. The only difference here is instead of having only OH here there is also an attachment of oxygen over here. So that's the reason the name is peroxo monosulfuric acid and in this case the sulfur has an oxidation state of plus 6. 
So talking about the last one. So the last one is nothing but polythionic acid. So in this case, basically the sulfur is attached to two oxygen atoms having a double bond between them, and one is satisfied by the OH, and the rest of this group, it this two are the similar groups, and the rest of the thing is basically connected via that is sulfur. And in this case, I have written over here as N. That means there will be multiple sulfur groups that would be attached over here, and that's it. So this was nothing but the that is oxo acids of sulfur and this is what I want to discuss about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.